Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel eLearning with Vedder Growth and today I will be discussing on a poem that is a tiger in a zoo which is in a class 10. In this video I will be talking about the poem, the summary of the poem, about the writer, the literary devices that are used in the poem as well as some important questions which are very likely to be common in exam. Before moving to the topic of discussion, let me tell you something about the poem so that it would be easy for understanding. And the poem is written by Leslie Norris, five stanza, and here the poet mainly talks about a tiger that is in a zoo as well as in a natural habitat. And well, let us begin the slide with the recitation of the poem, that is A Tiger in the Zoo by Leslie Norris. A tiger in the zoo, he stalks in his vivid strips the few steps of his case on pads of velvet quite in his quiet dress. He should be lurking in shadow sliding through long grass near the water hole where plump deer pass. He should be snarling around houses at the jungle's edge, bearing his white fangs, his claws terrorizing the village. But he is locked in a concrete cell, his strength behind bars, stalking the length of his case, ignoring visitors. He hears the last voice at night, the patrolling cars, and stares with his Brilliant eyes at the brilliant stars by Dustin now, Morris. Let us know the word meaning of the poem, which seems to be a little bit harder, although it's not a harder, but it will be good to know the word meanings. Stalks, it means to follow. Vivid means bright color. Case, it means cell or a prison. Race, it means anger. Lurking, to hide somewhere and waiting for prey. Sliding, the motion of something that slide. Plump, fat, plump deer body of the deer attacks the tiger very easily. It means the meat of the deer that attracts the tiger very easily. Snarling means warning sound made by animals. Aids, the boundary line of a surface. Bearing, it means uncovered. Fangs, long sharp teeth of animal. Close, pointed nail of mammal, reptile or birds. Terrorizing, it means to terrify. Concrete cell, building made of brick, cement, sand and stone. Bars, a solid metal object with uniform cross section. Stalking, it means hunting. Ignoring, means not paying attention. Patrolling, cars. Guards, moving with cars, means the guards who are moving with their cars to guard the zoo. Stalls means to look. Brilliant means shining brightly. Okay. Uh, let us know something about the poet. That is Leslie Norris. George Leslie Norris was born in 21 May 1921 in South Wales and died in the year 2006, 6th of April. When he was 19 years old, he joined the Royal Air Force during the Second World War. One of the most important Welsh writers of the post-war period and his literary publication have won many prizes. About the poem, the poem contrasts a tiger that is in the zoo and the other one is in a natural habitat. Here the tiger is in the zoo, is inside a case, he is not able to show his anger moving inside the small case and ignoring the visitors. Whereas the other tiger, the poet thinks, is moving freely in the jungle, praying deer for food terrorizing the villagers and mainly he has freedom in it okay now the summary of the poem the first stanza in the first stanza it is shown that the tiger is inside a case moving quietly in his small case due to his soft feet one couldn't hear his footstep although he has lots of anger he can't show it because he is not free the tiger should be hiding behind the long grass near the water bodies in order to pray where the deer comes to drink water here the point means that the tiger should be living in a natural habitat and lead a life of his own sorry it, it need to be leading okay leading a life of its own third stanza i think if the tiger is said to be free he would roar and move freely at a at the end of the jungle showing his white teeth and this would create a fear among the 
villagers fourth stanza of the poem the poet in this stanza talks about the reality of the tiger that the tiger is locked in a cage where he is not able to show his strength because he could not move out as he is moving the step of the cage ignoring the visitors and the last stanza of the poem is the tiger hears the last voice at night that is patrolling of cars which is used by the guard in order to guard the zoo the tiger in his case has nothing to do so he keeps on st staring at the stars and making himself busy with his own thoughts literary devices that are used in the poem rhyming scheme a b c b alliteration that is the repetition of consonant sound pulp pass p sound is repeated behind bars b sound is repeated he hears a sound is repeated it means p b and a sound are repeated constantly imagery it means to have a image or from where we could grab a picture here in this poem the poet tries to create a tiger in a zoo and on a natural habitat it means we could see a, a tiger which is in a natural habitat and in a zoo metaphor it means the comparison of two things tiger paws are compared with the velvet pads it means the tiger paws are compared with the velvet pads this is the last slide and here the important questions are pointed out and the answers will be available on a pdf and i will make available the pdf on the description link from there you can download it okay the questions are what are the different situations of both the tigers who is the writer of the poem a tiger in a jew why does the tiger express his race quietly what does the poet think about both the tigers so friends we have come to the end of our discussion and you can download the P ppt from the description link as well as the pdf and on the pdf you could get the question and answers that are in the text as well as the important questions which i have laid out in the poem okay everything will be available on the description link and hope you guys get to know something about the poem and if you do like it then like comment and subscribe to my channel thank you